everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review, first impressions and demo of the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This bad boy just launched and it's online and it's in stores. It was July 10th so it is available and it is brand spanking new and I wanted to test it out for you guys. I've been wearing it for about a week now so I have a pretty good sense about it. So yeah, this video is going to be my thoughts on it, as well as I will do a demo and review for you guys. I'll show you how it applies, I'll show you what it looks like close up on my skin. So yeah, if you're interested in this foundation, then just stay tuned. Okay, so first let's start by going over the specs. So, like I said, this is the new Ultra HD foundation. The bottle is exactly the same as the old Makeup Forever HD foundation, except instead of a black rim there is a silver rim now I'm just gonna tell you this you might already know this but this just regular HD the sad lonely normal HD foundation is going to be discontinued this is replacing it so if you absolutely love this and you're not sure about the new one I highly suggest tracking the old one down because it's going to go bye bye so first things first so this retails for $50 Canadian or $43 American you can find it online in store Sephora.com anything you want so when they first came out with this makeup forever HD foundation it was created for film and television now there are 4k cameras and 4k televisions and I'm over here like I still have the iPhone 3g no I'm just kidding I don't oh but whatever 4k is I don't have a 4k camera I don't have a 4k TV but it is four times more defined than a regular HD camera and HD TV so what that means is you're gonna see every little detail so this ultra HD foundation was made for 4k so the point of it is that it's supposed to be completely undetectable on the skin on camera and in real life so this is supposed to be completely invisible completely undetectable yet make you look flawless and cover everything you need to cover on camera so you're not like you know on television with tons of pimples everywhere but what does that mean for people who aren't in front of the camera all the time now this foundation in real life you cannot see it it just looks like your skin is a lot better than it is now for me I have some light freckles and with this foundation you can still see my freckles through the foundation it doesn't look like I've tried to cover them up with makeup you can still see them but at the same time it does give me a more even look so that's definitely true when I did a flash photography test um, you could not see this makeup at all and what I mean when I say you can't see the makeup is like you can't see like little powdery or chunky clumps like you can't see the color popping out you can't see things getting all separated it literally you're like where is the makeup like if I just put it on one patch you wouldn't even notice where I put it so I would say it is a medium coverage um, it is buildable you like you can just go in and keep building it up I would not say that it gets to a completely full coverage but it can cover most things so it's like a medium borderline medium full the finish is skin like so when you first put it on it looks very glowy very dewy but it does set down and it's not matte and it's not dewy so it's that natural look right it gives you just this like skin like texture one thing I notice is like when I'm wearing it around my nose like where my pores are it doesn't cover them it doesn't like blur pores it doesn't blur imperfections because that's again more of a fake done up look whereas if you can see the pores and you can see the fine lines and the freckles it's more of a natural look so that definitely does that yes okay so I've said a lot of the good things now just to touch on a couple of things I have combination skin so down the center of my face I get oily and makeup starts to break up on my face Around my cheeks, I, can, I tend to be pretty dry and things can get a little bit patchy. So, with that being said, this is a weird foundation for me. I completely love this foundation when I first apply it. I think it looks beautiful, it's easy to apply, it's stunning, it looks beautiful on camera, it's amazing in flash photography, it looks great outside, it's just wonderful, I love the color, however, <laughs> 
it doesn't stay that way on me. Now, this just could be my skin. I think if you had really, really dry skin, this would be like your holy grail foundation. And even for myself personally, I think I would like this better in the winter. I set my makeup with a Makeup Forever HD powder, and within about four hours, I start getting really, really shiny. Like I have to powder really quickly throughout the day and like frequently throughout the day. Also, I don't know what it is, but it kind of sucks up my face makeup. So, like even my boyfriend the other night was like, you don't have any highlighter on, like what's wrong with you? And I was like, I was wearing highlighter, but it just disappeared. So, it kind of soaks things up, and I noticed that on my chin, it's like completely gone where I had it, and you can see on my pimples. So it does slowly like disintegrate on my face, which obviously is not making it sound very appealing. But like I said, if you have really dry skin, this will probably last. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. It's like I love it when you first apply it, but it doesn't wear throughout the day. Like I wore this to work and I was a hot, greasy mess. So if you need a foundation that's going to last you all day, you can rely on it. This may not be the one for you. But if you are a makeup artist or you are taking photos, whether they're engagement photos, grad photos, Anything like that, if it's just a special occasion, if you're an actress like me going to an audition and you want to look good on camera or for photographs, this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It looks stunning on camera and that is how they invented it to look and it really holds up to that and does its job. It looks beautiful, natural, and undetectable, absolutely. Like, I don't know, I hate to say that because I wanted to like be completely in love with this, but that's just my thoughts. So, yeah. Let's just get right into the demo so that you can see what it looks like on my face and I will stop talking. Okay, so this is what I am working with today. Um, I am a little bit more pale than I normally am because I have just scrubbed off all my self tanner and I'm going to reapply. So this shade is a touch too dark for me, but I will be applying self tanner later today so it'll all work out in the ends. But this is my natural skin color. Ooh. Currently, this is a perfect time to do a foundation review. I have some little friends with me, right here. This is a spot, there's some scars from some spots all around here. So, to apply today, I'm gonna to be using the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. I take about two pumps on the back of my hand. And see, that's what it looks like. It's pretty runny. And I just begin in the center of my face and move outwards. So this foundation does blend really, really easily. I think, you know, it is a water-based foundation and it's pretty liquidy, so it is easily dispersed around. So that's the first layer, and I still have a lot left on my hand. It blended really, really easily. It has covered my cheeks really well. It's really evened out my skin tone. It looks like there's nothing on the skin. It really just looks beautiful and natural, and it took two seconds to apply because it really just like melts into the skin. I would say it's a medium coverage, but I still have some spots here that I would like to add another layer on, and this foundation is buildable, so you can just go ahead, dip into the foundation again, and just kind of like where you need it, I just like to dab it and really press it into the skin. Because then you get the full amount of coverage, but just only in the spots that you need, so it's not going to look cakey anywhere else. But this is what the foundation looks like. So honestly, when you first put it on, it looks beautiful. Okay, so I just wanted to update you guys um, with a midday check-in on how this foundation is wearing on my skin. So it is currently 12.10, and I have been wearing this foundation since... 8 in the morning, so it's only 4 hours, so it's not very long at all, but this is what it looks like. The first thing I notice is right here, my blush and my contour and my bronzer are like getting really, really patchy. Like, I don't know what that is. I didn't touch my face. It's just starting to like dissolve. You can see my pimples here, so all the makeup has come off right here, okay? I have a lot of shine right around my nose. Forehead's all right. Forehead is okay. It's mostly all this shine. I can just feel it. It feels very oily right in here. And my chin is very oily as well. And you can see all this stuff right here. Now, I haven't touched up at all. You could totally fix these problems with just some powder, some more concealer. 
some more blush. This is kind of the worst part about Ooh, this. So that was the video. I really hope this was informative. I'm sorry if it was long. I just wanted to get really in depth with you guys about this new foundation because it is expensive. And if you're thinking about getting it, I want you to know there are 40 shades of this foundation and the shades numbers are changing, okay? So they're changing up their whole numbering system, but it still says on the bottom of the container. So I am number 120 in the old HD foundation, and it says 120 equals Y245. So like I said, this is perfect for makeup artists to have in your kit because it will look beautiful in photographs. Or if you're going to be taking photos, I think this is beautiful. And that's all I have to say about that. I really hope you like this video. Please, please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week. Bye!